Yeah, in supporting project, mostly you will get uh, I'll tell you like across modules. User creation issue. Not create user creation issue, user access issue. One is then you have a DFA issue. The DFA, these are frequent issue. A DFA installment issue, installation issue. Then you have uh, interface issue, import issue. If you are importing some like invoices, uh, journal import issue, right? Invoice import issue. Yeah. Approval issue. Approval issue means you have created approval group. Some people reside. Then you have to update the approval. Of uh, this employee is deactivated or move to some cost center issue, like these are frequent uh, COA value support, like you have created new values, like new account, new cost centers, new product. So that every month you will get some more requests, like create new cost centers, create new values, okay? Then period close. This period close issue will get from uh, uh, mostly 23, 23 to 30 past. Every month. Okay. In period close issue, I know how, like I told you how to handle this exception report, validation report, you have to run, okay? You have to reconcile everything. Payment issue. Payment issue mostly, if you are electronic payment, the payment will fail, right? I'll give one or two example here. Recently, I got issue like uh, we have transmit, transmitted the file to bank. And what happens? Bank rejected the file. Because bank tell like this supplier address format is not correct. Bank will not tell means it will give you error message. Standard error message from bank portal you will get. The beneficiary or payee address detail is not according to the standard format. Like that, you will get that error. So if, what I did, I went to that supplier and checked the address. In address, what happened? Like in the post box, post box, it should be mostly numbers, right? Like for Hyderabad, 50049. That is the postal code for Miyapur. But here in the address, what happens? They have mentioned like this, 5000049, Hyderabad. There is some unnecessary uh, like characters where they are like, that's why bank did not accept. Because we have standard file format is available for each bank. And it should be 100% exact match to that specific format. That's why we got this error. Okay. Similarly, 
in certain cases recently i got like this branch code is incorrect pay pay branch code like pay branch code is incorrect pay means supplier so i went to the supplier and check the branch code branch code was completely mis missing okay branch code means the branch number so i went there and i updated the branch code and again transmitted the file so in this way you have to debug the issue in certain cases like it's a you are creating a, a bank like i got one error message this bank is not enable for for international payment in this case uh, you can go to that supplier bank and uh, enable the international international payment for that supplier bank account i specifically in my current project getting 50 60% of the issue from payment h2s payment actually electronic payment with every 15 days we are getting new bank because it's a huge company with the multiple around 40 countries 40 to 50 countries and they are introducing uh, every month four five banks they are introducing bank account then here and there you will get issues like uh, all these issues you can check so i'm preparing one uh, sheet actually it will take some time maybe 10 15 days i'll prepare one uh, list of uh, production issues and we'll share you can use it for interview yeah sure sir thank you sir high level uh, issues but more detailed level like tax insurance will get lot of tax issue like tax tax code is not defined tax rate is incorrect geography is not defined like that you will get issue any other questions if you have no question we can wind up the session uh, so yeah, yeah probably in the next class we can take it up this collection one now to sir collection yeah, aging and also uh, this one sir what is it uh, yeah correct i am able to recollect probably just internal let you know sir internal no this one internal this one sales order i guess ir ir is internal sales order internal sales order so that is uh, you yeah. have to do in uh, sales order you're right and you know sir like basically i haven't seen this complete flow from right from this uh, Sales sort order of booking to invoice for this institution, like uh, I did not do it. Sir, it's like same like ABS or only it's there anything changes there? Yeah, more or less it is same, but the some of the steps are changed, like pricing. Okay. Pricing setup is completely changed, and you have uh, you have some idea on sales order, right? Yes. how the order type happens like uh, in ebs can you tell me uh you are talking about this uh, mixed order commercial order this one right sir right uh, like um, ex export orders like in some orders we don't need shipping yes, sorry you don't need billing right uh, shipping bill only orders ship only orders like that so how you determine it in ebs i am telling you this is based on workflow right order workflow if you check in ebs 
<coughs> Oracle has provided workflow, standard workflow. So workflow de de decides like if this uh, cell shader need to be uh, build or not, or only ship only order. So we have different, different work. And based on that workflow, we create order type. So this workflow concept is uh, replaced by orchestration concept. Oracle, Oracle DO, distributed order orchestration. So this orchestration will decide like what will be the destination of this order, whether this order to be finally build or not, or it's a ship only order, or uh, how many deliveries should be there for that order. So this orchestration process will decide. So that, that is changed actually, order orchestration. Pricing is changed. Some certain setups are also changed, no doubt. But the central concept is the same, like this flow, like we'll create order, then it will come to air, create air invoice. But this order type concept is not there now. It's the DO concept or distributed order orchestration. Probably in the next class, we can look at it, sir, at least at the high level ones. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll just I'll discuss uh, advanced collection and this DO. Yeah. yeah. Later one video, order to cash cycle. I'll send that link also. Can see. I created one complete flow, like how you can create one order and create invoice. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.